Hey friends, what's up? Kans here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion on one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in jibbles below and I'll give you a shot when you're wrong to it. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like because it helps me out for helping you guys out. This is a skyblock uh, as made by Tasty Bento and as requested by all those people. I've done um, use Skyblock a couple times and I've done Island World, where, which are the other two big Skyblock plugins. This one's really slick as well, has some nice little features that are different to it. And you can actually transfer from use Skyblock or Island World. The author has his own little program so you can do that it does require vault and some sort of an economy plugin if you want if you do want to run multiple economies across different worlds you can use me economy that's mi economy or multi-world money which is also made by this author um it's fantastic so then you have your perms you basically want to give your default users a skyblock.island.star and that gives them the ability to create kick make leader join all that stuff and you can give on them a skyblock.coop. That is the ability that they can just kind of partner temporarily on somebody else's island or give that out as well. A skyblock.island.control panel. That is, uh, you're going to see that, and that basically gives them access to this, the GUI, which is really slick. And then you have a skyblock.island.maxhomes.com number or dot team size dot max size dot number dot island dot range dot number so i believe this plugin actually lets players adjust the range of their protection on their islands so that uh, there's like a default size and default protection and then you can actually make the islands farther away from each other than that so that they can kind of like expand out if they want I don't know why you would want to do that, but it's kind of a cool ability. And then you have a skyblock.craft.ender chest so they can use ender chest. Keep in mind if you have other stuff running on the server like a creative world, uh, players can um, use that to cheatsy doodle around it. There's a whole lot of more uh, permission nodes you want to go ahead and check if you want to really kind of tweak what players have access to. Go ahead and check it out on the link. We're going to get into some commands and how this plugin works. And then we'll take a look at the configuration file at the end. So slash is, if you don't have a world or a, if you don't have an island, it's going to pop up and it's going to give you the option to select the type of starting island, which is really cool. And then depending on your permission nodes, that's going to determine what islands are going to show up here. So players can then select which island they want to start with. So you have your... The original, we have an island duo, and then we have um, black diamond. So I think that I'm going to try the island duo. So we're going to go ahead and, and click that one. And there we go. Let's uh, change the time to be day. Here it is. That's kind of a cool island. So now when we do slash island or slash is, we get that GUI that we can do all the things in. You don't need to know any of the, the commands or anything like that, which is great. Um, you can open up a mini shop, which you can set all this up in the configuration file. So you can uh, have players, it has a built-in little mini shop. You might want to have your own kind of more extensive shop, which is uh, helpful. Set your home. So when you do that, uh, you can do, and that's gonna take you to your home, which is a little bit more confusing because most of the other ones are island home, but that is how it is. Now we're gonna open up the, the control panel again. There's a whole lot of other options in here. You can do, um, you can go back to the world spawn if you have um, that set up in this world. You can change your biome in here. You can see your list of challenges, which all can be modified in the config which we'll get to in a second um one thing that's really kind of cool is your uh, <laughs> mobs on your island will automatically get named as well It'll, it's one of three names but you can set up your custom naming if you want one thing that's really kind of cool is this uh warp welcome sign stuff so you can quickly and easily make it so other players can warp to your island if you do welcome now, you can put anything else that you want on line two, three, and four. And then if it turns green, you know it works. So now players, when they go to island, they can see 
list of warps available and then they can actually just um, warp to it however because I put it up on a sign it's not safe so keep in mind it's got to be on a flat ground and um, then players can quickly warp to it I think that's a really cool feature so obviously you have uh, island invo invite accepts team leave kick make leader so you can transfer leadership of the island which is basically ownership of the island and then you can do island co-op and then player and it gives them temporary access to the island and then you can do island expel and then that player name um, and that is pretty much it let's jump over to configuration file and take a look at what's going on all right so here we are in our server we're running 1.10 actually on this which is really slick we're going to plugins we have our essentials economy and we have vault keep in mind those are all updated and then uh, we have a skyblock you just plop that in your plugins folder and start it up and it's going to start this folder right here now there's a whole lot of files in here but it's pretty quick and easy you just kind of got to work, work your way some of these are just placeholders for the plugin itself schematics this is where you're going to put any kind of custom islands that you want obviously we see double harder island and nether we only saw three of those on our our list so you can put those in there the only thing when you're making an island schematic if you want to learn how to make a schematic go check out my world edit tutorial and you'll see how to do that the second thing is it needs to have a bedrock block one of them and then it'll that's how it tells where the middle is i would recommend that you just grab one of these maybe i think this is the default one pull that in uh load up that schematic and then edit that and then copy it save it as a new schematic and then use that as your guide so it needs a bedrock and then you can put a chest it's highly recommended so that the plugin will automatically fill out that chest with items when they start um, you can add a sign, you can add grass and a spawn block, which you can set in the configuration. That way, otherwise, the plugin will just spawn as close to the bedrock block as it can, which is pretty much what normal things do. And then uh, you just put it in your schematics folder and then you set it up in your configuration. We'll, we'll show, I'll show you guys that in a second. So let's uh, jump back over. Now you can set your block values. That's how it determines the island level. You can modify all those. I'm not going to take a look at that. Um, you have your challenges YML, which there's a whole lot of text. The author's done a great job of really commenting how everything works together. So I'd highly recommend, recommend that you just kind of review that. Take a look at what is already there for challenges and then modify that to add more challenges or up the experience or up the money or lower whatever you want or change all that. You can also run custom commands when a player gets uh an achievement which is really cool that's just in here so that's the challenges let's jump back in here we got the config file you have your control panel so you can modify what shows up when they see that that control panel now the control panel is not on by default when you do is you have to actually enable it in the configuration file i'll show you guys where that is in a second so co-ops this is just these are just saving those for the plugin to know and then messages always fantastic when the author puts in that puts that in there so you can really modify the color codes and it, the language to be whatever you want it to be which is really slick now you have your mini shop which just shows up there and you can modify that shows up in that control panel and you can modify what is for sale how much uh quantity price what shows up on the gui all that stuff um you can enable or disable allow selling so by default it only allows players to buy items from the shop so you have to enable this to true if you want them to be able to sell items to the shop so you have top 10 warps those are also just name place holders so let's take a look at the configuration this is a giant file with a whole lot of comments but don't worry about that it's just the author is explaining it a couple things to note you have your distance so if you're coming over from another plugin you're going to have to change this distance to be the same as what you had it before so if you're coming over from you skyblock it's likely 110 for distance between islands now the default for this is distance of 200 and you'll notice that the protection range is only 100 so that means that if the distance is 200 by default it looks like the protection range goes 100 out so it's a radius around um rather than a distance across so in you skyblock it was a distance across and then 
the bedrock was in the middle of it. So then the protection range here is a radius around the bedrock. So that's why it's a 200 distance between islands. So you want to modify that stuff. Uh, it does say that you want to make sure that this is at least 16 blocks less than the island distance, unless you um, enable this to true. Probably don't want to change that to true. Um, I'd highly recommend that if you just want to kind of test this out, test uh, different setups. It looks like he has some guides here on how to set that up. Probably want to, ch if you want to change this to 110 and then you want to change, you probably want to change the protection range down to 50 and then that'll be like you skyblock. Um, one thing to note is if you're changing these items, you're going to have to delete and recreate the world for it to take effect. Otherwise it's going to have some troubles. So you can have to start X and Y. Um, you have max team size, all that stuff. And now here's the chest items. This is what shows up in the chest at default. Now you can't actually change it to be, to have different permissions for different people like a new Skyblock. So you pretty much want to do just another custom island and then you can specify the chest items in that custom, for that custom island as well. So, <clears throat> and then here's some default island companions that are you can set it to be whatever or nothing if you want um, and then here's the companion names as well so it's one of these three random ones you can actually name your island as well which i think is really cool rather than just your username there's a whole lot of other stuff i'm not going to hit any of these the other one that i want to to show is you can change the world name if you want, uh, you can change max islands. This is it, the use control panel. So this is uh, false by default. If you want them to be able to use that GUI, you wanna set that to true. And, uh, and then the nether stuff. So you have two options for nether. You can do a create, you can do a standard nether, which is just open, but everybody spawns in the same spot and then goes out. Or you can have kind of like this cool skyblock nether, it sounds like. So um, the, Nether, create the normal nether if you want to do that you want to set leave this to true and you want to set this to false that will go to this open just one world nether everybody spawns in the same spot when they go to the nether you know the downside is it will get depleted of resources every once in a while and you have to reset it you can't make claims in there or anything like that so or you can do a new nether which is basically like skyblock in the nether so you come in and you're on an island and then you have to go out and there's spawners nearby and all that stuff and it's your own nether and it's protected and yours. Here's your reset rate, how long you have to wait before you can reset your island. You have your confirmation, invite, all that stuff, fast calc, level commands. So this is really cool. When you do reset of your island, you can have it run custom commands as well. Um, so if you want them to default to a specific island, you could probably do that in here. Um, you can do uh, custom commands when they leave, when they start an island, when they team start an island. Um, and then when visitors are visiting other islands, these are the commands that are banned on that island, which are pretty cool. And that is... I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff that you can modify. You can change what and you can change entity limits for just about everything on the island. You can reset the money at restart. You can have change the starting money. You can reset reset challenges at restart. All that stuff. Um, I just there's so many settings. This is a very very detailed plugin, which is really cool. And then here's your biomes. You can change the name of them. All that stuff. Schematic. So uh, you can have the schematic panel if you want to set that to true, or you can set it to false. <clears throat> you can have it choose one of them randomly that is available. And here's how you set up the schematics that you can, you can select. So you have the default one, and then this is the file name, island.schematic. So when you save your new schematic in there, that's where you're going to put that in there. Basically, you're going to want to copy this section, paste it down below, change the name. So you're going to want to change this name and then you want to change the icon, and then you want, you're gonna to want to change the order that it comes in, and then the name and all that stuff. Um, the one thing to note is if you want to set up specific permissions for it, you're just going to set, um, you're gonna set permission, and then any permission node that you want in there, and then you give your users that permission, and then only ones with that permission will see that in the selection list. And then you can also set up, um, 
you, if you do false, you can do false for the use default chess. So it's going to use a chess specific to this one. And then you're just going to do uncomment this one. And then there you go. And uh, you can also do the same thing for the island companion. So if you want special companions for different one of those islands. So if we actually wanted to change this chest now, we wouldn't really want to do this. We'd probably want to fill out more of these chest items because you need more than melon and ice to start the game. And you can actually set it to use physics of false. So you can have floating sand islands if you want and all that. Pretty straightforward and that configuration file is huge, but just piece your way through it and just read each line and, and figure out what it is that you want your um, Skyblock server to be, and then go from there. Well, hopefully you found that video helpful and it gets you started with this, this great Skyblock plugin. There's three of them out there. This one has some really, really neat features. I really like the ability that you can select different islands and I like the warps feature that you saw there, which is really cool. Default companions when you start. It's really slick actually. I would say um, this one or you Skyblock are my two new favorite, but Hopefully this gets you started. Please leave a like. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And thank you for all the support so far. This is Kyle's reminding you guys all. Enjoy the game. God bless. So if you join for the first time, feel free.